This Halloween comes the scariest night of the year. It's the Comedy Central Roast of Jason Voorhees. Starring The Gremlins, The Thing, Mike Myers, no, the other one, Chucky. Look, I'm a two-foot-tall ginger with no genitalia and an obsession with a seven-year-old boy named Andy, and I still bang more chicks than this guy. Just ask Jennifer Tilly. Or Jason's mom. Hi, Mrs. Voorhees. The Comedy Central roast of Jason Voorhees with Norman Bates, the raspy black lady from Us, Pennywise the Clown. You think Jason's ugly under that mask now? You should have seen him when he was 12. He looked like the illegitimate son of Stanley Tucci and Cancer. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. All the way from Texas, Leatherface. Freddy Krueger's here tonight. Hey, pal. Nice to see you around adults and not children, finally. That's where I fucking kill you! It's the Comedy Central roast of Jason Voorhees. Featuring Buffalo Bill, The Wishmaster, and Pinhead. But seriously... I'm the only one here that possesses a deadly, dark, and terrifying box that hasn't been opened in a millennia. Well, me and Mrs. Voorhees. Also starring Carrie, Brundlefly, the Leprechaun, Annie Wilkes. Jason does have one weakness, though. Premature ejaculation. What? His calling card is quick thrust and coming out of nowhere. Special appearances by Cujo, Jaws, Rose Master General Jeff Ross. Jason, Jason, you look good. You look good. Congratulations. Your your uh your knuckles have scraped. Did you walk here? And for the first time on stage, Jigsaw, a xenomorph, and Candyman. Jason wears a hockey mask now. Because when he wore a white hood and killed the black guy first, it sent the wrong message. The Comedy Central Roast of Jason Voorhees with your host, Freddy Krueger. Hey Fred, when's that show on? It's on prime time, bitch! This is the Halloween episode of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They talked me into eating candy corn and now, I have bell cancer. Which is saying something since I'm a fucking machine. I'm your announcer Julie. And I just found out that Christina Hendricks and Jeffrey Oren broke up. Thus ends one of the strangest couplings since La Lovett and Julia Roberts. Don't believe me? Google image search Christina Hendricks. Now Google image search Jeffrey Arend. I rest my case. Here are your hosts. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Hey kids, this is the Implicit Reviews Podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine. And I'm joined by two guys who are the jerks who put their Christmas trees up two weeks before Halloween. Sleepaway camper Matthew Stewart. Necronomicon author Justin Plizzy. Fellas, before we get started, uh, I got to get something off my chest, if you don't mind. If you indulge me yeah, for this get, moment. Get right? the cum off your chest. Okay, yeah. just, 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 give me a second. Give me a second just here. Just wipe um, that thing off. Since we've been gone, I've been constantly asked my opinion about a, a certain criticism uh, to the MCU made by a certain director. Yeah. And as a lover of the MCU and comic book movies in general, uh, it pains me to have to say this, but I agree with this certain director's criticism. And that director is Pedro Almodovar, who said that Marvel <laughs> movies are sexless. He's completely <laughs> fucking correct. I want a PG-13 tentpole Hollywood summer blockbuster to have hardcore fucking porn in it. <laughs> you said tentpole. I, exactly. I want to walk into Endgame and see Hulk railing the fuck out of Black Widow. Oh. I want to see a circle jerk between Cap Falcon and Bucky using that metal. Oh. I want Groot. Bent over while Rocket's getting the ride of his fucking uh, life. I want to see these things mm. without having to select a very specific filter on Pornhub. Okay? Do you do you want to see some? You want you want some gangster porn? Yo, I, love I want straight up gangster. I want straight up gangster, I want, I want straight up gangster I, porn. 
I want Nick Fury to use the other eye if he got my drift. I want yeah. to watch all of these. He, I want to see all these things. One eye. Kevin Feige, what are you doing? Trump was right with MAGA. Make Avengers Gonzo again. I'm all for it. Let's do it. Porn yeah. Avengers. Let's go. That's what Marvel should be. Yeah. I'm going to put this. <laughs> Marvel, Marvel should just Marvel be porn. You feel that? That's the fucking mind hey. stone in your ass, bitch. Hey, Mar hey War Machine. <laughs> More like cum machine. <laughs> So guys, how's it uh, been going? Happy Halloween. Um, Happy Halloween. Uh, this, Happy Halloween. Is, trick or treat. Sort of that was our treat treating. for y'all. That was a treat that keeps on treating you. Uh, uh. So how's everything been going? Uh, you got uh, Matthew had a birthday. Uh, Did. I'll tell you the story about me almost punching an old man today. Oh, yeah. And that old man was the man in the mirror. <laughs> that man was Burt Lancaster. <laughs> God damn, he's still alive. He's still alive. Kill him. You can't, can't keep a good Lancaster down. I'll live forever, you son of a bitch. Hi. <laughs> From here it's to eternity. The right. <laughs> Is that cup. Burt Lancaster? Yes. Matthew Stewart with the cinematic knowledge. That's him. He was in it. I kept thinking, like, Burt Lancaster, what the fuck? He was, he was the one that was actually fucking Frank Sinatra in that movie. Was he literally fucking Frank Sinatra? I in, in my dreams, he was. Burt Lancaster. <laughs> it's your dream. Bone. Please, Frank. Bone <laughs> Lancaster. <laughs> Or like, him, more like, more like Bird Mancaster. Mancaster, look at that chest, that barrel chest. <laughs> I am, I am, I am planning on watching a movie that Bert Lancaster was in, and it was called. What's the name of it? It's called The Swimmer. Oh, have you ever heard of it? No, sounds seductive. So I, not I, I so I, I looked at the plot, right? And the plot is like one summer, a man, Bert Lancaster, swims in every pool in the town. Get the fuck out of! And I was like, "This is a made-up movie." What? I'm watching that because <laughs> that's that... a vanity project for Bert. Mom, Bert Lancaster's in our pool. Get the fuck off my property, yeah, Lancaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a man. That's a man. Oh, right how there. tall was Bert Lancaster? Him and I think was Mitchum, like they were like six fucking two, men. six three, probably six two. That. Yeah, probably. Yeah. He was. He's probably. Decent Tommy Gunn guy, was man. six two. He was. Tommy Gunn died of AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now he's, you know how tall he is now? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Six, six feet, feet negative. <laughs> <laughs> negative six feet. I shouldn't say that's not. Uh, but I it's did. <laughs> well, it's a fact. Well, he had it coming, and that was his problem. He was coming. Everything he fucks, he does He a heart attack. Burt Lancaster died of a heart attack. Everything he fucks, he destroys. He with AIDS. <laughs> his government issued AIDS. He's 6'1". <laughs> 6-1? Okay, that's a good size. Burt Lancaster, 61. Government issued AIDS. <laughs> Here's your AIDS. Move on. <laughs> Government put AIDS into the white community to kill them off. Speaking of that, Clark Gable was 6-1. <sighs> that's a man. Look at that mustache. The king of Prince Hollywood. Of I don't give a damn, bitch. Get the fuck <laughs> out cut of that my part face. Out. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. Palance. Have you heard the Jack Palance freak out audio? I Which one? It. <laughs> you God, freaked out all the time. Already, is this when he already had goddamn Alzheimer's? He was yelling out the Jack, Yeah, he's doing like a voice. You're my number one guy. <laughs> one one guy. Guy. Don't forget your deck. <laughs> your magic deck, your trick deck, whatever fucking. <laughs> We're going to do this for a little while, and that's it. Oh, yes. Because I am not going to do it the way you want. I will never be able to do it your way. I can only do it my way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, lady. Hold on. Yeah, exactly. I'm not doing it I'm any to... way other than the best that I can do. Oh, yes. If you are not satisfied with my best, then that's oh. too fucking bad. Oh, yes. You will <laughs> reach yes. a solution or a resolution very soon. Yes. You cannot keep telling me what you think oh, is man. the better thing, the better thing, the better thing, because mm. I don't even know who the hell you are. Ooh. After 50 <laughs> fucking years in this business, oh. I'm not going to take all the interpretations from you. You oh, asked me you to do this. You, are. you didn't tell me that I was going to have to sit here and take all these goddamn directions from you. Goddamn. Thanos? You know goddamn. I'm doing now. I don't even know who you well, are. I don't know who you are. I know that we are uh, I getting like that. close to uh, burnout. <laughs> <laughs> Getting close to climaxing. Ah, bullshit! You love everything, but 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 that's loving nothing. Is that normal? <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> somebody because I, I can't find the real. There's a whole like twenty minute of him just freaking out. So somebody took a portion of that and just added. Uh, Oh, that's some good. That's some, like that's some good stuff right Muppet. there. Yeah, that's yeah sounds I, like Beaker. I I had been looking. I heard this audio from someone like tw like 
12 years ago or something and i did they get did josh brolin get that line from him i don't even know who you are maybe i don't even know who you are i don't even know who you are fucking years fuck you are 50 fucking years man that's fucking g right there but i remember it got it got escalated to the point where he's like i have a gun i have a gun <laughs> at my house i will come and kill <laughs> and i can shoot somebody ass. with it like it escalates <laughs> beyond Holy escalation shit. i've been to it jack powers he's killed a black guy that's life. like a, oh yeah when when <laughs> him, him when, and liam neeson they team when, him and liam neeson definitely kill a black guy yeah <laughs> we're gonna find this black bastard <laughs> i'm gonna find this black bastard i swear i'm gonna walk around the block hold on one second hold on i'll be right I back gotta calm down gotta calm down gotta walk <laughs> when jack Nichols, nicholson was scared on set because of jack then i think there might be a fucking problem yeah Dude, he shit. He scared the shit out of Jack Nicholson, Sylvester Stallone, and Kurt fucking Russell. Yeah, <laughs> those apparently, are three heavyweights that yeah. are scared shitless. Apparently, of Jack he just like still. picked up a knife, and Jack Nicholson was like, he just had a knife in his hand, and I was. <laughs> apparently, Tim Burton was like literally close to pissing himself oh, yeah. because he was just talking in such a, a monotone voice. Don't he wasn't even angry. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> You know, talking about his life, and apparently it scared everybody. I, I wonder, uh, cops and robbers, uh, Robert oh, like, oh, oh, Robert Chevy Chase probably Chevy. shit himself. Well, I'm sure Chevy Chase probably was doing something to really piss him off. I'm sure that's what I wonder. Like, because you know, I would love to listen to Bill, Bill, Billy Crystal like describe the time he spent with, with uh, fucking City Slickers. Jack yeah. Balance. yeah, yeah sure it was pretty good. <laughs> I'm Billy Crystal, like four feet tall with his dick. <laughs> You host the fucking Oscars. You haven't won shit. I'm going to fuck you with Daniel Stern's dick right now. Daniel Stern's dick. Bruce Kirby. I'm going to stick Bruce yeah. Kirby right up your fucking ass. Bruno out. Kirby will be your... Bruno Kirby. Out. Sorry, Bruce Kirby. Bruce Kirby. <laughs> Bruce Kirby. <laughs> I'm going to stick his son right up your yeah. ass. <laughs> He's not even born yet. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. A little baby dick will hurt you. <laughs> baby dick I hope it does, so. though. <laughs> baby dick will hurt you. <laughs> write that down. Oh shit! Please write that down. A little baby dick won't hurt you. <laughs> Used in so many different ways. Holy shit! <laughs> I want a T-shirt that says that. A little baby dick won't hurt you. A little baby oh dick God. won't hurt you. I even can't find a pen. You know how fucking crazy you gotta be to tell someone, hey, shut up. A little baby dick won't hurt you. I got a pen. That's fucking, I got a pen. That's fucking nuts. I can't write. <laughs> Holy shit. I, that's like disturbing in like, like, scare, like, what? Wait, what? I, 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 got, I, I, I have to unpack this right now. How do you respond I, I, to that? I need like, oh, to unpack this comment. <laughs> this is so much in there and it's yeah. it's so many layers it's subtext like, in it it's like i have a stroke i can't write <laughs> oh my, my God. little baby dick won't hurt you little baby dick won't hurt you <laughs> fuck off <laughs> that's what it's supposed to do <laughs> i think we broke justin justin's done <laughs> That's the show. That's the show for the <laughs> We haven't even started. That's the show. <laughs> oh God. I mean at that point, I mean it's like is he insulting me or himself? I don't even <laughs> Is he insulting babies? So that was small dicks, himself, uh, Billy Crystal, Bruce uh, Kirby. Who is the who one is on top supposed to be here? insulted here? I'm crying. <laughs> oh Christ. Oh man. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> won't hurt you, but it's hurt damn you. sure it's emasculate the shit out of you. <laughs> so are you in yet? Yeah? No? All right. Nope. All right. Let me know when I show up. <sighs> Baby Dick needed on set. <laughs> Baby Dick flying in. <laughs> <laughs> Last looks. <laughs> Everyone get out of the way, baby dick. Baby dick. <laughs> Coming in hot. Come in. Got a hot set. Make a, we got make a, a hole, set. make a hole, make a hole. Make a hole, everyone. <laughs> stunt baby dick. Stunt baby dick in there. God it's like, damn it, the stunt baby, baby dick. dick is too big. <laughs> John Wick's baby dick, get in there. <laughs> and that was the story of Jack Palance and the baby dick. <laughs> Don't forget your lucky baby dick. <laughs> time for something more dangerous than razor blades and apples. 
It's Simplistic Trick or Treat. Simplistic Trick or Treat, this is the segment where we pour our goodies on the table and sort through it so we can determine if an item is either a trick which is bad or a treat. I remember this game. Which is good. I remember this All a year right. ago. I thought you said yeah. a simplistic trigger treat. Trigger treat. Again, trigger culture. Mm. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna, is there any um, fiber water? This bars? game offends me. No, I, I, this all this uh, fucking candy this table offends see, me. See, I'm at that age now where I don't want chocolate or candy. I just want fiber one barns. No, I, we get the best of both worlds. Justin is 76 years old. I got some ever everlasting gobstoppers oh, here. I got some. I thought you uh, said you got Wix. Let's <laughs> I got, I got that everlasting <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to say that word. Uh, after, I got some Twix that. bars here. Uh, I see the big orange Rangers. peanut right there too. Oh god, there it is. Oh, oh, oh Pirates of the Caribbean reboot. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were. I thought they were still making sequels to this though. Apparently, they're rebooting it. You well, know they got to reboot it because their lead is a little toxic. Right, he's but here's the thing about that. that he's t he's canceled, and the thing about it is that series, I only gave a shit about it because of him. I don't give a fuck about Orlando Bloom's character or. But he's so interesting. Who are you gonna get? Who are you gonna get to play Jack Sparrow? And if you play Jack Sparrow, you gotta play it completely different because well, it's gonna be now a you finally just bring fucking Richards in, and then you make it full circle. But I don't think you can use the same name again. I think it's so new. Be a different pirate. So Doctor Jack to... Swallow. He's hey, the only spits. interesting thing about that yeah. whole franchise, though. Sure. Maybe Barbosa. It's him and Barbosa. And the rest of them, who gives a shit? Who would be yeah. somebody cool to bring in that could be interesting? Uh, they I, already did Blackbeard. They already did. Uh, you probably do uh, a spinoff, maybe. With, uh, uh, I heard reboot, but spinoff. Either way, I, do you give a shit about anybody in that no, universe other no, than Jack Sparrow? This is terrible. Shall terrible. You fat. Child, he's dead. Oh, he died. <laughs> he died. Spoiler <laughs> alert! I didn't I'm, even I'm know sorry. that. Sorry for a movie from 10 years ago, but Oops. yeah, we, Chow Yun Fat gets stabbed to death in a uh, world's end and gives his fucking pirate kingdom over to Elizabeth Swan. Oh, yeah, yeah. That happened. I want to see more movies with uh, her. No. Why not? Why? I don't know. Why not? <laughs> she sucks as a character. Oh. Like, do anything? Hey, man. Parlay. <laughs> well, hey, you know who's in that movie? Uh, Zoe Saldana was in the first one. She, she just is. disappeared. Yeah, she just. Dis <laughs> How about you reboot it with uh, Bruce Campbell? Now we're talking. As a as a, as a cow <laughs> as a cowboy pirate. Didn't he play a pirate on a TV show? No, no he, he was, a he was, he was, he was a, in uh, Briscoe County Junior as a cowboy. No, 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 no. He was a revolutionary. He had a TV show where he was like a revolutionary, like swashbuckler. Ooh. It was it was a short lived series. You can look it up. I forget. It was like Jack of. Jack of something. Jack of Jack all of, trades. I guess that's Jack sunk. of all trades. I think is what it's I don't called. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I made that shit. Up. I don't, no, I think you're right. I think it's called Jack of all trades. We're gonna get, we're gonna get hate mail from people like I can't believe it. It fucking was Jack of all trades. I watched it. It was great. Bruce Campbell was amazing. There you go. Break, it, there you go. Like, I'm pitching it right now to fucking who is that? Warner Brothers or fucking whoever? Jack of all trades reboot. No, <laughs> it, 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 fucking Bruce Campbell. Another, was, we've uh, got we've got another Jack, but it's not Jack Sparrow. Yeah. It's Jack of all trades. <laughs> oh, pirates? Sorry. That's that's we, Disney. We got a brand new Jack off. Isn't it? Yeah, it's Disney. It's yeah. all Pirates Disney. Oh, yeah, Disney. Disney, yeah. So Disney or... I thought it was under a different label, like Disney. Well, or... that's the thing. Uh, Disney's Touch got so Stone. much going Prince on Touch right Stone now. Pictures I can't, they own I can't imagine they would want to go down this road unless it's for the streaming service. Yeah, because that's going to do well. I mean, they kind of they kind of well, have they got every movie anyway. playing. There's no room for a Pirates. I'm literally looking on uh, his IMDb, uh, Bruce Campbell's IMDb, which is... It's called Jack of All Trades TV series. Ooh, Jack man, Styles. Look at that. The Daring Dragon is the name. Look it came out in 2000. It's only 19 years old. Oh, guys. it's pre 9 11. Yep. <laughs> I think we found the cuz. <laughs> we found it. Very, we found what they're doing. Like, the damn we terrorist can, won. We cannot make this show continue. We <laughs> must do something extreme. <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> we have to do something extreme. <laughs> I got an idea. <laughs> I can just picture a bunch of terrorists me out. in a cave watching Jack of All Trades. Hear me out. I have an idea. Okay. Where is this idea, Muhammad? Every time we watch Jack of All Trades, you have these crazy ideas. What is your idea this time, Muhammad? Well, you know, you know how I'm scared of uh, exploded devices, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We've heard this well, before. Well, well, well. I figure, why don't we take a giant bus in the air? You know, what are no. they called again? Um, um. A plane? A plane, that's correct. <laughs> An Airbus. Why don't we use that as a, uh, uh, well, it's got fuel in it, and it can explode and cause massive damage. Why don't we just, just use one of, of Jack of all, all trades? because of Jack of all trades. <laughs> Dead to America. <laughs> Dead to America. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna go to the next one here. Uh, I got some uh, going through these candies again. Man. <laughs> All this candy, a lot of this candy is very melted. Yeah, smarties. Is this in your and, car yeah. or your pocket or something? Probably. Yeah. Probably. yeah. We, I had to put we it picked it up from the weird old guy across the street. You know? It's true. Dum Dums. Um, oh, Mr. Oh, Rogers. <laughs> we have the Batman casting so far. Trick or treat here. The Batman casting so far. Uh, trick or treat. That's, let's do the rundown. Who, who's, been, who's been officially like We've got this? Robert Pattinson as Batman. We've got Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bring, up, bring back the black guy. As Catwoman. And we also have... Uh, Paul Dano as the Riddler. I like that. I, I, like I do like Paul Dano as the Riddler. I think Riddler. it's a treat. Ooh. Yeah, they get, they, they're, they're, they're doing some, something. You guys are high on Pants in this Batman. I, you guys I, are high on that. Well, I'm no. Not. I'm for I, high on them, but listen, like the other cast listen, around them. I told you. Hmm. Just sit back and let's just see. All right? Okay. But okay. I heard an interesting um, behind the scenes rumor. Ooh, Ooh. A tidbit. Yes, this might be an expli- an, an, an exclusive. Exclusive. Ooh, exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> exclusive. My sources have okay. told Justin, sources journalism that a particular actor who has played Batman has been approached. Are you talking about a guy with the first name Michael? Um. Yes. Let's just oh, leave it at that. Okay. Was approached to reprise. As just one character, Ooh. Um, um, I don't want to spoil anything, but we'll just say the first name is uh, Bruce. <gasps> oh, wait what? a minute, a twist. So what, who the hell is? Oh, oh wait a minute. <gasps> you think? Are you thinking oh. well, flashback <gasps> movie? They're thinking. I, or listen, or could be. Um, listen, Michael Keaton. He, he enjoyed, of course, playing the character. Uh, money was great. Let's not great. be wrong there. He loves being saying, but I'm he Batman. fucking loves hated putting that fucking costume on. So yeah. as long as he doesn't put the costume yeah. on, he's fine. And <laughs> yes, and okay. so um, there is rumors going around that there might be a flashback, and possibly there might be a other side of Batman being worked on that hasn't been in the film uh, medium yet, <gasps> and Ooh. they might kind of. Um, take my idea which was <clears throat> Batman Beyond do a Batman Beyond movie and then take a year or two off and then do a uh, regular Batman film and have doing the, uh, these two franchises let's say they're two separate franchises have side by side storylines developing characters and then come together in let's say Infinity War and game type um, big Opera. Hmm. Do you have faith that Warner Brothers could pull that off? I do not I have, have faith in Warner fun. Brothers, not the slightest. <laughs> the track record has not been. What? That's great. my first problem. Second off, but Michael Keaton wishes he looked like Robert Pattinson when he was twenty something years old. Well, yeah, well, yeah. we all remember what Michael Keaton looked like when he was twenty something years old. Yeah. He didn't he look anything Mr. like Mom. Robert Pattinson. <laughs> he was Mr. Fucking Mom. Yeah, he but he was home. bringing it, man. I don't know. Michael Keaton's the shit. Keaton. <laughs> Man, awesome. We all love Michael Keaton here on the show. Michael, Michael Keaton's Keaton. the badass. Come on. We love him. We do. He's my second favorite Batman, for Christ's sake. Come on. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, well, Kevin that's going to be interesting, too, that because your first yeah. favorite Batman will be another idea. I saw I saw a clip of him playing Bruce, and I was like, oh. how how'd it look? <laughs> Did he have that's, the beard? He had he had a little scruff, yeah. and like uh, Flash was in the Batcave. And Kevin Conroy is who we're talking about, the original animated Batman. Yeah. The and dark he silhouette. Just, no, he was in the fucking light. And he's like, uh, Flash says something like, um, I need your help. And then fucking Conroy goes, I'm listening. I was like, oh, fuck, my dick got hard. It was so fucking mm. good. <laughs> it's so, like it just him saying one line. I was like, I'm in. <laughs> well, I like the fact that they always try to replace Conroy with another voice. He always comes back. Uh, I'm gonna go through some of these other candies here. I got some. Oh, I like that. What is favorite. that? Snake? What's what's oh, that's cake. what's that? Uh, that's like what's that open one right there? With a K. What's the one? Crackle bar with a K. What's the unmarked oh, open one? That's that, that's cool. What's drug. the one with Ooh. the syringe injected into it? Oh yeah. Uh, don't worry about that one. Just put it in your mouth. Uh, Les well, Wiseman is making a John Wick spinoff. <laughs> Len Wiseman, <laughs> huh? Trick or treat. Len Wiseman, Les Wiseman, director. Whatever. I thought he was canceled. I think he was. First off, you automatically canceled if you break up with Kate fucking Beckinsale. You're automatic. That's the only good thing you've ever done in your life is her. So, yeah, you're canceled already. But, yeah, he's going to make a John Wick spinoff about the ballerinas. I'm thinking of Lee Takamura. 
<laughs> who the fuck is that? The guy who did that uh, <laughs> bad that bad James Bond movie. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Lee Tremblehorn, you talking about? Whatever, I know. Uh, <laughs> J- Janine Triplehorn? Are you talking about World Is Not Enough? With, yeah. Uh, Are you talking Christmas about Jones? a particular director <laughs> that no, might no, have the done other with one younger that one. children? Yeah, Which that one? guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You guys Lee, are Lee, uh, Lee, Lee, take, Lee, take the young kid Lee home. He take a child. Yeah, Lee, take a kid. <laughs> no, uh, Lee, take this a is child. Dun, dun, I think he got canceled dun. for. Wait, did it, I can't remember what he got canceled for. I just know he broke up with the uh, kid back. No, I think no, I think Led Wiseman is okay. The other guy, the other guy who sounds like Lee, the. Uh, Les Wiseman was is, is, not. is it Les or Len? I can't remember the the, the the underworld what, motherfucker is Les. Les Wiseman. I don't even. Les Wiseman. I don't know. I just know that Kate Beckinsale, when they weren't together, uh, always video chatted him. Uh, yeah. This girl, Kate Beckinsale used <laughs> yeah. to wear underwear with his you. name on it. Think about that. You got your you got Kate Beckinsale got, wearing like, like you, underwear you, with you your promo name for on you. it. Jesus Christ! I'll never forgive him. He's not that wise of a man, but yeah, he's doing a John Wick spinoff. Why? Because it's hot. But why don't, John you, why Wick don't you have universe the other guy is, do it? John Wick have, Universe uh, is hot. The or something like that. His own, the whole uh, thing. I, that's what I would rather. I mean, the, the unit. I mean, they're making the Continental TV show. They, 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 they the Wiseman one's supposed to be based on like the ballerinas that we saw in John Wick Chapter Three. If you haven't seen it, that's still my favorite movie of the year. Uh, it's got the Belarusian assassins and all that stuff. It could be okay, but I don't no. trust him. He did live for your die hard, man. He did remember that? Remember yeah. those days? I do. Remember those good old days? Tom Rothman produced Live Free yeah. or Die Hard, directed by Les Lynn oh, Wiseman. Yeah, and you got to understand the reason why uh, John Wick. Um, works as good as it does for us is because the director was a stunt guy yeah he knows how to do and it and he knows what he's doing he's not yeah. necessarily a director um first he's not a hollywood heart. shill he knows things that will look good and, and do what he can do he he puts on a good show and and right. the formula works you know you have uh, your lead and the story and all that comes together but the important thing is what really trigger us no pun intended for john wick was that um you know it was fun to watch those those particular violent action scenes that uh, he's gonna put the really effort in the action because he's done it but you know, know if less wise but Lynn we see it underworld we've seen good day to die hard we know we saw total recall Yes. Not not a good day to die hard. Live free. Die. Live I'm not free gonna to shit on Wiseman. That good day to die hard is another story altogether. It's even worse. <laughs> that is even I'm worse. I, I, I try to block it, just it out. Compl- it just good day to die hard makes live free or die hard look like die hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just you know there's like gonna be probably a lot of slow motion and these 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 angles that it's it's not gonna feel the same. You know, it's just not gonna feel the same. It's gonna it's gonna feel like one of those Chinese ripoffs. You know. Unless Stahelski's like, I mean, because this guy, that guy and uh, Leech, they will like direct their own movies. But then, like, I think Stahelski did the stunts for Birds of Prey third act. So, like, he'll like, he's available. So if Les Wiseman is just doing, Lynn, whatever the fuck his name is, I can only put more. Uh, if he's just doing the story beats, though, he sucks at that too. But Stahelski will come and say, don't worry, I got it. Yeah. I'll do your, your action yeah. beats. He's, a per- he's, a per- he's one of those perfect people that you look at and you're like, how does he still get a job? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But he hasn't. But in Hollywood, you, know. you fail well, upwards. He's the Pete Davidson of directors. He's like this guy must have this a guy giant. Fails forward he's fast. Getting... <laughs> well, he's getting all this work. Um, failure. All right, I'm gonna go through some of this other stuff. Uh, I got some hockey sticks here. I got some hockey sticks. sticks. Do you have any of those? Um, one of those weird candy, Asian people next door. Candy cigarettes. I, I, oh I, I, yeah. I Zagnut bars. Zagnut. How about some Zagnuts? Uh, I got Kevin Feige doing Star Wars and everything else at Marvel, except for the porn movie we want him to make. Oh, well, he's out. <laughs> You're done, Kevin Feige. You're done. <laughs> Kevin Feige. He's, he's missing it. You know, here's the thing about porno. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Stewart for porn. Yeah. Uh, uh, people like it. That, that's true. Uh, <laughs> These I'll, are I'll facts. Say, I would say, yeah, it's facts. Especially that gangster porn. Like, oh, that's okay. the best. Don't make me stick that up your ass. Um, but... More, I think more people probably watch porn than Marvel movies. Uh, that's true. I think more, more people watch porn than everything else. Yeah. <laughs> Literally everything. And at, else. and at least after the porno, you have something to show for it. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, the problem, of course, is Disney. Um, yeah. But I, I, think, I think they should get a little ballsy and start doing some. Uh, 
some like you know not necessarily full on rated R, but well, they um, said that Deadpool is going to be rated Deadpool's R. going to be R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, and with jo- with Joker being uh, what it is right now, it's still Deadpool and Joker have proven you can do R comic book stuff, and it still yeah, Joker money. surpassed it's, it, right? Yeah, it just, it just beat it, so you can wow. still do R. It's there's a unit. Why would this is why people kept telling me, oh, Disney's going to make it PG, and I'm like. Why would they limit themselves? Don't they like money? <laughs> don't they like, they money? like money? Don't they? Yeah. They, they like money. They, 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 they like money. money. They like money. Money is good. <laughs> but I guess. The, I guess what people say is like, okay, if you make rated R Deadpool in this universe, then how are you going to be able to incorporate him in a bigger film and make even bleep more money? him? But you, you just know how that? funny it would be if yeah, Deadpool yeah, if was in a Spider-Man and movie. Breaks the fourth wall and then breaks the fourth wall. It's like, oh, who the fuck like, is bleeping me? Who the fuck I must be in a PG-13 version of this movie. Like, it it sells itself. They've done this in the comic books, where he's in the Deadpool comic book. They don't bleep out shit, but when he shows up in a Spider-Man comic book, they have the little F percentage uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. asterisk. Yeah. Blah blah blah. They do that, and he'll make a comment to it, like well, I must be, in, I must be guesting in another comic. If they've done it in the comic books, you think that Bob Iger? Say what you will about him, he's not dumb. <laughs> he's not gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna take the best thing about this character and shit on it. No, Tom Rothman would do that. Fox would do that. Warner Brothers would do that, but not not Bob Iger. Bob Iger, I think I, I remember him saying something like that. Why would we change uh, a character that's clearly already a hit? Like, yeah. why would we do anything like that? It doesn't make sense. Like, well, yeah, that's, that's in the that's, family, Deadpool. We can make two yeah. billion dollars instead of one. You don't. We, after the first one came out, you really don't have to sell him that hard. Like, look, Bob, I know you want to change it, but when we made it art, it made eight hundred million dollars. Yeah, Bob's like, Bob, come on, Bob, Bob, come on, Bob. <laughs> come on, <laughs> Bobo. <laughs> What am I Bobby. doing? Bobby, Bobby, <laughs> Big and B. I, if you think if 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 you think Bob Iger likes money and likes being successful, Kevin Feige likes it even more, and he knows who Deadpool is because he's been in fucking involved with Marvel for what thirty years, forty years, some shit like that. Crazy shit, fucking number. So yeah. Plus, I mean, you don't want the mouse to come out. No. And we remember Bob. what happened last time the mouse Bob. came out. <laughs> number nine eleven. Why would you do this, Bob Iger? <laughs> You're fucking Iger. with my money, you motherfucker! <laughs> is it is it Bob Iger retiring though? He's retiring though. Uh, he is. He is. So he's our, it's, it's like he's. So he's, the, he's, he's kind of he's off. kind of on that I don't give a fuck thing anymore. Yeah, it's easy I, when you're I, a multi billionaire. Yeah, that too. Yeah. It's like, oh fuck it, he, who cares? He just bought Fox. He doesn't. It's like whatever. It's it's all whatever to him. So yeah, I Kevin Feige being in charge of everything at Marvel, um, and and then we can Star Wars movie. I guess is good. I just don't. I can't find he's one guy, so I don't know if oh, he's, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he did, surrounds himself with. Smoke. Well, that we know of. Yeah, that's true. It, it would make sense. If there might be many. There, there, the might CPO be, there might be several. Might be, uh, there might be several Kevin Feige's yeah. in this universe. If you told me Kevin Feige was a robot with multiple, no, I think I, I think I, I think it. Kevin Feige came from the future. Uh, yeah. I, if you told me any of these things were true, he's like I would time cop. He, you know, he's so big now, and he's a universal it's weird soldier. that something hasn't come out yet for him. Mm. Yeah. You know, well, like audio... Don't worry. Yeah, let's start don't, some rumors Don't here. jinx it. Don't <laughs> Kevin, worry. Kevin Feige just... Breaking news. Fun, Kevin. Making, <laughs> Kevin Feige, the pedophile. Like, wait, wait, no, no, no. no. <laughs> well, the children love terrorists. our movies. <laughs> I want to go with terrorists, you know? Do you think... Like, like I don't know. Th- th- it, but yeah. Justin is right. We don't... This guy essentially made an unprecedented, like, 20-picture universe... And I don't even know if he's married. You know what he I don't did? Know if he has kids. I don't know he's anything about the that game, guy. baby. <laughs> American gangster did. He he got he he took the drugs and he sold it. He within, sold it direct. He took out the middleman. And he became a god. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And everyone was Jeff addicted. Loeb. And everyone hitting their arm. And they're like, inject yeah. me, motherfucker. <laughs> Give me Give more. Johnny Depp and blow. He, he, he leapfrogged. Yeah, you want some? You need the it. Supplier. You need it. You want it. We're going to give you Pay something you don't even it. know you want. Now get on the couch. You know you didn't fucking want Guardians of the Galaxy, but I gave it to you anyway, motherfucker. <laughs> I gave it to you anyway. And you, you fucking it loved fuck. it. <laughs> and even though you hated part two, it still made a billion dollars, you fuckers. <laughs> Kevin Feige sounds something like this. I hope he does. That's a, that's a, that's Feige, Kevin. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna go through uh, some of these. I got some bunch of crunch here. You know, but, I, uh, all this candy on the table, and you got a lot of sugar candy too. Like, yeah, where about the sour sticks? Where's the fucking, like where's the fucking sour worms? Uh, I got. Speak it up. I got some trolley worms here. 
I Ooh. got some. Uh, I, I got a Mr. Goodbar, oh. and I also that's have a candy. A, uh, <laughs> I got Bloodshot trailer. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> it was more. It was more. Uh, I, I won't say impressive, but I was more interested in that trailer than the new Rise of Skywalker trailer. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea it was coming out. I didn't know Vin Diesel was doing that. He's been trying to make it for years. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Well, he's got that group money, I guess, tonight. I've only seen a little bit of this comic book, and I don't know. It looks like they've abandoned most of the plot. This movie <laughs> will make like... $45 million domestically, and nobody will give a shit. You think it's going to bomb? Hard, huh? Well, I don't know what the... Uh, I can't imagine this movie being a very big budget. When's Riddick I mean, coming back? a lot back. of special effects. Yeah. I think it probably costs like $90 million. Really? $90? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Deadpool was 70, and this looks like it has like a lot more special effects. Yeah, but they so. can do that shit for cheap now. They can just like, put, send that shit to China. <laughs> those are those Chinese but, SFX. They haven't put, a, I mean, th they haven't put any uh, yeah, but tariffs on them yet. Who owns that comic? Probably uh, like Wild Storm or something. No, Va 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 Valiant? Variant? Va Valiant? 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 Valiant Comics? Yeah. yeah. Who's yeah, that? Who are they doing? Was Sony, was it? Uh, I think it's a Sony. Is it Sony? a Sony movie? <sighs> It might be. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. Sony. I, I was just Sony surprised to see Guy Pierce in there. I was like, Guy Pierce, you, you, you going back to the well, huh? Iron yeah, Man. Yeah, he's playing the same Iron Man three character. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's playing, he's playing, playing Aldrich Killian yeah, again. He is. <laughs> I, I've done this before. I'll, I'll do it again. I mean, he looks I exactly I don't know the how same. The game works, okay? <laughs> I mean, they didn't even change his look. He looked exactly like he walked off the set of Iron Man three Pretty to do this much. movie. Dude, this movie you know what might, I think it is? I think it's just as old as Iron Man. 3 I just think it's the old takes from Iron Man three. Yeah, it's, it might be it's the, re edited. We got all this extra footage. <laughs> they bought it from Fab. Pretty much. And uh, Shane West. Yeah. Like, hey, in, a, mind if we in a yard like sale for sure. five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, do you mind if we just take Iron Man three and just uh, put? Vin it's like Michael Bay using his. Iron Man well, 3 island, made a yeah. billion dollars. Do you can you fucking believe that? I believe Everybody it. Everybody says, "Oh, DJ, you're a MCU mark." I fucking hate Iron Man 3. <laughs> I, fu I fucking hate it. What's, what's the last uh, Marvel movie it. to not make a billion dollars worldwide? Thor Ragnarok didn't make a billion dollars. There's not a lot sure of billion, billion dollar Marvel movies. I'm a thousand percent billion probably, dollar like worldwide. No, no, it did not make a billion dollars. I, I, I will bet my beard on it. He did not make. Yeah, a it's one of the best. Right now. <laughs> It's, and it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I just I know it, it just I think shows it you like how stupid people are. Yeah, what about the dumb idiots? Yeah, dumb dumbs. Yeah, dumb dumb. Think, oh, you uh, stupid Ant MCU fans out there! I'm talking to you. I'm talking to Ant you. Ant-Man and the too. Ant-Man and the Wasp. That those movies in neither one made a, a billion. I don't um, know. Are you sure? I'm positive. I can understand I'm that. Positive. Are you yeah. are you Tommy Morrison positive? I'm. <laughs> Yes, I am Tommy okay. Morrison Bob. Sure. I think it made like six hundred million Ant Man and a Wasp. Six hundred, seven hundred million. Yeah, they're in the they're in the lows. Mm. But those movies didn't cost as much as like Endgame or something I mean, like still, that. They so. still cost by about no. one hundred and twenty million, one hundred twenty five million dollars to make. So you double it, you got to make two hundred forty. Yeah, but Endgame was also shot make. back to back with Infinity War, so they cut some costs. There. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. That, trust me, they broke the bank with that yeah, one. Yeah. So Bloodshot. Yeah. Who cares? Uh, I, Vin Diesel's been trying to make a franchise other than the Fast and Furious. How come? How come he? Went, I think he should go back to the well with the Last Witch Hunter. I think it's time to revive that. One. <laughs> Did you ever watch the Last no. Witch Hunter? <laughs> well, I I I. Anybody out there? Anybody Why seen am the Last Witch Hunter? Anybody? Shot either. I just raise your hand if you watch the Last Witch Hunter. Yeah, get, get, yeah, and Riddick, you can make. For Riddick is probably the best character he's ever done. Riddick, you could probably ever. remake that or do it another ain't. one for like about fifty million. Guarantee it. Riddick is not Dominic Toretto. Riddick is actually cool. He's a cool fucking character. Very kind of fucked up and very things. cool. Yeah, they fucked it and up. And you could like do that movies. cheap. You know, you could do that really cheap with like. Yeah, you know, Riddick being put on a, a, a go some back to planet the pitch that's... black thing. Go back. Well, the third Riddick movie uh was wasn't bad. No, no, they're all good. Even the cartoon's good. The dark, yeah. dark, fate dark fate, yeah, dark, dark fate, was fate good. yeah. I don't know. The second one was the director's cut of the second one's good, and it's funny. Even if you take the the original version of who Chronicles directed of Riddick, that? who directed this? Uh, the same uh, guy, David Twilley. David Twilley, David Twilley uh, but, yeah. yeah, but even if you take out the director's cut, the director's cut's the way you got to watch that movie because it explains a lot more. But even if you have the regular version, there's some really cool shit in uh, the Chronicles of Riddick movie. There's some like everything on the that, prison that movie, planet. I think is good. I think that movie is remembered Dave more fondly now. 
Yeah, in the third one, David Batista. He's, in, he's, yeah. a, he's a yeah, critic. Chronicles of Riddick. I, I watched it recently. Like, there's that part where it's stupid, but it's it's stupid. It's stupid, good but play. it's fun. It's like a, it's fun. Yeah, it's a yeah. fun watch. Yeah, yeah. It's, Fox? Again, if I had to pick between watching yeah. him as Dominic Toretto or Riddick, it's Richard B. Riddick every fucking time. <laughs> he's awesome. Man, in that. Pitch Black so, yeah. came out in two thousand. Two thousand, yeah. Pretty Pretty nice. I watched that movie on accident. It's I own it. It's one of my favorite movies. He is fantastic in that movie. So is um Cole Hauser. Cole Hauser's in it. Cole Hauser. Fucking David Keith. David Keith is awesome in that movie too. Keith David. Keith, Sorry, Keith David, David Keith. <laughs> David Keith. <laughs> That's his weird brother. That's his bizarro Rod, brother. Roda Mitchell's in it. Hey, <laughs> David <laughs> Keith's here. Yeah. He yeah. brought his famous potato salad again. Yeah, here he goes. <laughs> and it doesn't have any potatoes in it. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Hopefully, hopefully this will be something uh, cool. Even though it looks like very stat, it, it looks like a Universal Soldier. It, it, it looks about again, as stupid as I'm imagining it's going to be. You know what? Yeah. Let's get this done. I want to go watch him. Fucking Reddit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Pixie sticks. I got Butterfingers. Uh, I got David uh, Lewis. Travis Knight doing Uncharted because Uncharted. 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 Yeah, he's doing Uncharted the video game. Fu- but they're gonna make a movie, movie now. Ooh, yeah, I know. They've been movie. trying to do that. Yeah, but aren't they, they doing they it with Spider Man? It, yeah, it makes Holland, really man. no sense, but okay. What? I guess they're using doing young uh, what we, Nathan Drake. Cool. Make another Indiana Jones movie. I, I, it's coming out next they year. Are. They it, are making it another Indiana Jones movie. <laughs> where, I don't know fucking fuck how. Hey, don't worry. There's a Bond movie coming up in a couple months. And, oh, really? Um, I haven't heard about that. What, <laughs> no one that has a, seen no any. Is that, is that a new franchise? I've seen two shots. Is that a new yes. franchise? <laughs> Very concerning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Continue. Uh-huh. <laughs> so one started gonna... with Travis Knight doing it, huh? Uh I don't know if you guys saw Bumblebee. I'm gonna say I'm assuming you did not, the, but the, it's the the heard the... you really liked it a lot. It's new the best Transformers movie ever made. New kids mm-hmm. on what? the black guy. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh I, I he also did Kubo and the two strings, so he oh, has a, a good... uh, eye for um actually shooting action better than uh, certain other directors. He's got an eye. Um but yeah, I don't know if he. Uh, Who's gonna? Travis be, uh, Knight's one of those guys where he's like he's talented, but he doesn't need it. His dad owns Nike, so. <laughs> he's, just he's just looking for a hobby. I guess I don't want him to be. I want him to be passionate. I mean, Kubo the Two Strings was like a passion project, yeah. and on uh, and uh, was, you like Bumblebee. Bumblebee was very very. It's the best transform. If you're a Transformers head from the '80s like me, you if you haven't seen Bumblebee, the first five minutes you will come on yourself. Ooh. It's. Literally, <laughs> generation I don't have to watch one. To do that, my friend. It's on fantastic. myself. And it's fucking great. Oh. If if you've watched any, if you watch Transformers the animated movie and you haven't seen Bumblebee, do yourself a favor. Watch at least the first five what minutes of Bumblebee. Like, and what if I don't like out. Transformers? You will still like it because oh, okay. once they get past the generation one uh, live action stuff, which is fucking fantastic, uh, the actual characters are actually good. Like Haley Steinfeld. How's John Cena? John Cena is in a different movie. <laughs> uh, he's in a Michael Bay movie, where it, or at least a comedic him. version. He's not awful. He's not. Uh, is he like F you uh, a Mark Wahlberg? He's more like he's he's in a comedy where Ooh. the movie has parts where it's not comedic. Like, I mean, there are there's a lot of comedic stuff in it, but there's certain parts where he's comedic where he shouldn't be. Uh, but Haley Steinfeld, if I had to compare her character to like no, you don't have Shia to. LaBeouf, yeah, it's. Night and day. I like the fact that we're uh, talking more about Bumblebee than we are about uh, Uncharted. I'm just giving you the bona fides of Travis Knight because he's only done these two movies. <laughs> so, yeah, Uncharted. Uh, this guy? No, uh, oh, no. no, that was a Brandon. That was a Jordan Knight. That's Jordan Knight. That's wrong night. <laughs> I know. I'm Night and Day. Joking. Night and joking. Day with Tom Cruise was a good one. That's the only bad Tom Cruise movie. I, 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 I think uh, Nine Days not that bad. Uh, no, Ma- the Mummy. Sorry, the Mummy, uh, the mummy yes. came out after. <laughs> James, uh, James think... Mangold direct Night and Day. I think he did direct yeah. Night and Day. <laughs> I think you're did, right. How did we get Night and Day? Next, um, well, I'm going to do more candy. Uh, oh. Last <laughs> night, uh, the Transformer. Uh, oh God, no. Anthony Hopkins. Uh, Reese. <laughs> Who gets, who gets shot in the face with a bazooka in that movie? Oh, Spoiler yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure that's the only reason why he did it. Yeah, probably. I would, I I would to die by getting shot in the face. I am uh, Richard the Third. Kill me. <laughs> I got some uh, Reese's pieces here. I got some. Oh, yeah, give me a Reese's Oh, bazooka. Who put the fucking. Right. Oh, man. I'm more of a. Uh, yeah. Do you have a zero oh, bar? Yeah. 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 I have an Almond Joy. I love, and I also ooh, let me get that Almond Joy, please. I love you know, zero bars are hard to find. I got a Jurassic World 4. 
Oh god, no. The but, old cast. Well, what about Jurassic World Three? No, it, you they're didn't skip, see that one. Skipping it. They already made one. No, they did. <laughs> they did make part three. Oh, there's a third one. But whatever. Jurassic World Three. They're only on three now. Called. They're gonna skip it. They're just gonna go to four. It seems like they've made two. It's gonna be the Halloween Three of the series where it has nothing to do with dinosaurs at all. Right. Jesus. Jurassic World 3, uh, the old cast is back. Uh, they got Goldblum, they got Dern. Yeah, I'm good. And they got Sam Neill. Uh, I want, I don't I'm, I'm waiting for Jurassic um, Planet. Yeah. <laughs> well, well I mean, Jurassic Planet World and World are synonymous. So. How about Jurassic Universe? Is it? Is it? <laughs> I'm as pissed off because I think they're going to use this to kill the, these characters. Yeah, they will. Because how about Jurassic it, it, it smells of Harrison Ford. They're looking at Star, looking at Star Wars and they're like, let's murder these fucks. I would love for them no, all no, to no. get eaten by the same dinosaur at the same time. No, don't get it twisted. That was a Harrison Ford decision. That was definitely not a decision. I know, I know. <laughs> no, no, I know. But I'm saying they're like, like let's, hey, let's bring these guys back. back and kill. Fuck. Oh god, because Goldblum's going to get just... eaten off of a toilet want, block. Yeah, I don't yes. want Goldblum to get eaten. Leave, go, leave Ian Malcolm well, alone. Hey, if you know, had... you're in the movie, you're going to get eaten on the toilet. One of my favorite characters is going to kill him off in such a stupid way. At least they didn't kill well, him off okay, in Independence Well, how would you want him to Jesus. die, then? They're gonna I don't want him to die. I want him to okay, go he's, away. Okay, right first off of all, the okay, sunset. he's going to die. How, how is he going to die? Okay. I, I, you want me to break this down? I'll break this down. Yeah, he's break gonna it. He's going to get right, eaten go off break of down. a toilet and yeah, then shitted like out, and then oh. there's going to be an extreme close-up of a fly on the shit, and it's going to fly away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I uh, he was supposed to die on the toilet. He dies on the toilet in the book. I, I, well, no, he I doesn't die in the correctly. toilet, but he dies like from his. Well, okay, here, here, here's the thing. Ooh. In the book, he kind of dies, but you don't know if he really died. And then they had to rewrite Lost World, where he actually did not die in the book. Right. So they had the kind of like retro fit, or what do you call it? Uh, what do you call that thing in comic books all the time? Retcon. retcon. So they had to kind of retcon yeah. him dying in Lost Wars. Like, oh, psych! He's not fucking dead. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Got you, motherfucker. Of, all the, of the three of them that 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 I think are rooting for their own death or asked only came back because of their their, their death. The one I've got money on is Sam Neil. Because Sam Neil, if, if you ever follow him on Twitter, he like, does not I'm give a fuck. Australian. Either. <laughs> you think I give a fuck? <laughs> all he cares Boy. about is his goats and working with Taika Waititi. He's not, he's Thank not you. a big you know. Uh, He's probably like, look, I'm not gonna come back to this. Okay. If I'm gonna come back to this. He's gonna this? kill me. <laughs> Do you think they'll have a like, scene in this movie if if Chris Pratt and uh, Alan Grant, uh, Sam Neill's character, because you know how that mm. they've, they've always had that that fan theory that the, that he's the that fat he's the fat the fuck one. who gets yeah. his like guts. He's like, oh, he's gonna spill you all let the it, intestines. Do, Do well, that. They just let that happen. Yeah, just let make that, that be a thing. Case. That'd be hilarious. And then <laughs> be great. Alan Grant gets eaten by his raptor. He's like, fuck you. You fucking fuck with my friend. I want to see Alan Grant like, I remember you. I remember you. You're, you're that, that fuck. You're, you're that fat <laughs> fuck I fucked with back in the desert. Back you back in the bad traumatize lands. me about that turkey. Yes. Like a giant turkey. You called my dinosaur a turkey. Yeah, you fuck. You fat fuck. It's like, I'm not so fat well, I was anymore. using shotgun shells to dig for dinosaur bones in the first movie. <laughs> Robert Muldoon died for you. There's a scene in the first Jurassic Park where they use a shotgun shell to dig for... Uh, <laughs> the dig fruit bones. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that was my favorite part. I'm going to do some of this candy here. I got some milk duds. I got some. There's a lot of candy juice. still sitting in this thing. So when do we start eating this candy? That's what about snow caps? Any snow caps? Oh, I, I got some snow caps. Mm. I also have uh, speaking I'm of the a bunch of crunch though. <laughs> I have Naomi Harris wants to uh, be in Venom two, and she wants a Money Penny movie. She wants to be in Venom two. Was she in Venom one? Uh, no. Oh, why well, she want to be in Venom two then? I. I guess because of money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and she wants to be in Money Penny because of money. Oh, no, <laughs> it all comes around. <laughs> it all comes around. It'd be funny. It's like, I mean, we'll pay you a like, penny. Speaking of the Pirates of the Caribbean, she was also in Yeah, she was, the, she, was uh, she was the fucking Whirlpool. <laughs> Calypso? That was she she was. played a giant Whirlpool. Um, would you be in for a Money Penny solo film? Uh, I'm really not into any no. of that talk. But here's the thing. Um... <laughs> Well, <laughs> <laughs> don't talk dirty to me, you fuck. <laughs> yeah, apparently that's the thing, right? They want to do. Uh, I know it was pitched, not necessarily yeah. on the table. The whole thing is they're gonna have, you know, female James but Bond. But here's, here's the thing about that. We'll just have her be the, the of, James Bond that takes over for Daniel Craig, and then she'll be the new James Bond. No, but here, but here's the thing. Well, there's a whole nother Skyfall problem. may well, be climbing my charts as my favorite Bond movie of all time essentially explain the way why she's not in the field she is yeah. PTSD from shooting Bond yeah. 
which I thought was a very good way of getting her not to be in the field anymore. So you're gonna put her back in the field? You're gonna retcon her character arc yeah. from the like, I, No, I, uh, I, 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 it was pitched. My understanding is it was pitched and it turned into like it was a possibility. And I don't, my understanding is the studio really didn't give it much mm. thought. They're giving it. They're, what they're giving more thought to is yes, the female James Bond, mm. which is a terrible idea. Fucking terrible <laughs> idea. Really <laughs> fucking terrible idea. And it's gonna fail, and then everyone's gonna complain that because it's a woman, and it's gonna be a whole thing. And um, but the whole um, uh, Venom, um, that's cool. She was she gonna play she, 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 she gonna be like, that, that gonna be like the, the female symbiote or something Venom, like right? that. Yes. Yeah, she's playing Shrek, Shrek. Shrieker. Shrek? She's Shrek. playing Shrek, Shrek now? Shrek, wow. She's playing Shrek. Cool. <laughs> she's playing Shrek. I think her name she's is playing she's like, Shrek. She's like five of them, right? Is there like five of them? Yeah, it's like five yeah. symbiotes, yeah. Something yeah. like that. So, it could be cool. that really cool with the hair and everything. That's cool. Yeah. I'm all, I won't watch it, but good. It, it, it's still amazing like to me her. why she's, this I do like Venom her. franchise keeps getting these amazing actors. We got Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams. Do you know why? coming back, by the way. And now Naomi Harris. Fucking money. Money, money, money. <laughs> money, money. Yeah, money, Andy money. Circus is directing it. That's another thing. That's so weird. Andy, Andy Circus is taking is over for Ruben Fleischer on this time around. Because Ruben Fleischer was doing Zombie Land. Oh yeah, that there. did well. Did it do? No, it didn't. Come on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? I got a couple. I got one last one here. I got a. Um, okay, I asked you for. Is there bunch of crunch in there? Because I wanted it. I got some. I got some bunch oh, of crunch for you. I got, stick I got some Hershey's I, Kisses. Oh. For, that could be duck shit in my shirt. Oh. And I got some Twizzlers. And I got uh, Neil Patrick Harris in the Matrix movie. What? Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's happening. Now, is this a you got you got Jada Pinkett coming back. Right. And you got the guy who played Black Manta in Aquaman, and you have Neil Patrick Harris. That eclectic cast. Yeah, quite. <laughs> For the Matrix. Kind of, you know, we've been all, all the buying boxes. for Matrix, you know? Yeah, I, I've what? been holding my my dick. Yeah, really been wanting <laughs> it. So, cool. Somebody asked me, I, I I was talking to a young person the other day. And oh, they were how like, young? Uh, I had, uh, 19, and they were like, uh, okay. I've never seen oh, The Matrix. Oh, that's a I go, youngie. That's and a I go, young, watch the first man. one and don't watch any others, and you'll be fine. They go, what about the second one? I go, the second one's good for about an hour and then it just turns into fucking bullshit so just do yourself a favor watch the first one and don't watch it anymore so i don't know if the wachowskis uh, this reboot uh, are they, they, uh, they the still sequel, part of this or, or are they directing you know, i believe they're producing i'm not sure if they're directing i'm not 100 percent. i mean what else have they got going on oh uh, they'll have len wiseman do it oh jesus is it len or less i still don't know his less so uh, wise guy he doesn't even know. I keep thinking of Les Grossman. Yeah, Les Grossman. <laughs> Why don't you take a big step back <laughs> and fuck your own face? Literally fuck your own face. <laughs> I don't know what kind of Pan Pacific power play you're playing, man. You know who could do that in a Marvel movie? Mr. Fantastic. Come on. Yeah, let's see it, guys. <laughs> Tom Cruise is Mr. Fantastic? Let's do it. <laughs> I book it. I'm in it. Book it. The shortest guy in the room will play the longest guy in the room. This has been Simplistic Trick or Treat. A segment guaranteed to give you cavities. Uh, let's do a little TV round. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Justin, what have you been watching on television? Oh, you know. Oh, you know, the stuff. old, uh, the, the old, old, the old, the old, the old, old succession. The old succession. Oh, it's a, I gave up after three episodes. How can Should you I give up back? on that? It, it's. I hate everybody on the show. Oh, so it's like I, I think you know how yeah. I am. If I don't like anybody on the show, yeah, you, I think you, you, I yeah, can't. you're about I think that life. Quite fucking good. <laughs> well, it's it's very no, snappy. I, I hear it's awesome. It's very I just snappy. Don't like There's anybody. some funny fucking moments. Yeah, like Brian Cox is oh, awesome. He's a master. The one scene that I remember Brian him in for this episodes I saw is he was great. He's just you know not enough. Yeah, yeah. Culkin, Kira Culkin's like the price of admission for the yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah, have, have you caught up, good. or are you still watching? No, I'm still kind of. Bla- I'm, I, I watch it on occasion. Like it's yeah. not one of these things where I kind of. If it's like oh, okay, I'll. It's like billions. You just kind of like hey. Oh, yeah. billions was I. I caught up on that too. Um, holy oh, really? shit! You're all into the megalomania. Yeah, about to say those are like the I same shows show. basically. <laughs> Wasn't that HBO was like the answer two billions basically? I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah I don't know. Kinda. It's a lot different. I I say, but yeah. I, it's it's, it's got a wackier cast of characters in Billions, I feel. A lot more comedy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Billions fucking, is, uh, is on another side where, you know, it, uh, HBO really went with more 
uh, it's a little bit more low key. And then when something funny happens, it's, 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 you know, Will Ferrell um, is executive yeah, producer. Yeah, him, him and McKay. Yeah, both of them. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but it, uh, to me, it's, it's uh, pretty phenomenal. I, I, I was very impressed, um, even with season two. Um, there are a couple moments where it's like, okay, but then it, it, it comes back around. I did, and I'm sure we'll talk about it, uh, watch uh, Watchmen. Yep. Yes. Um, we all did, yeah. And we'll, we'll talk about that maybe a little later. Yep. Um, but Billions <laughs> uh, um, finished that. Um, uh, I got to hand it to them. They, they, I, I, I think I... I think way back in season one, I think when I first talked about it, I said, I don't think the show really could last this way. And it, that was probably about, over? what was that, like about three years ago? Yeah, yeah. And well, but they kind of changed it. You know, mm-hmm. like it kind of gets kind of flipped around. And now we're kind of going back to the first season. And I, I kind of got to tap, tap my hat off to the to the writers there because, yeah, they season one was different than season two i mean the basics were there but the whole idea was the same but it felt completely different and then they flipped it around and and uh two people working against each other decided to work together and there's some this this the way this season wrapped up really they they planned it out really good um I realize shows like that, uh, Justify did this, mm-hmm. which uh, I think it did it very, very well. And I'm assuming from what you're telling me, because I don't watch Billions, uh-huh. but when you have a show when you have one antagonist and uh, versus another person, uh, they love it when those two characters get together and work together, because yeah. they did that with Raylan and yeah. Boyd. And I'm assuming they're doing it with Giamatti and uh, Damien. Correct. Uh, right, which they do. They do that a lot, and yeah, because this, they just want to get scenes with them together as much as possible. This is <laughs> like very masterful. How the whole season turns out, it was kind of fake, and it was all planned. Oh, and hmm. so with that last episode, you're, they kind of go back, you know, to different scenes in previous episodes throughout the season, and they show a different side, a uh, different camera angle. And, what we didn't show you. And what it didn't show you is this and that. It was a masterful plan. And then it ends mm. with pretty much a uh, spoiler alert, I guess, since you guys aren't going to be watching it, that mm. uh, um, uh, they're going to be probably <clears throat> going against each other again. So uh. um, very entertaining. I just, everything about the characters and, 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 and whatnot, uh, both shows really have some... Has Giamatti been nominated for for that show? I've, I've, never, sure. seen, he, I've never seen him nominated. He brings it, man. Globally. He really fucking yeah, he brings can, it. From the, the little bit of that show I've seen, he's fucking amazing in that show. No, because he, he's Giamatti. Like they, they essentially just the gave him like an avenue to just do whatever the fuck he best wants. In the show, yeah. he really is. Um, and that's pretty much it for right now that I'll talk about. Um, there might be some more later. Next time we um, oh Matthew, oh, there might, what have you there might be some more later. later. What have you seen? What have you what done? What have I watched? Well, I yeah. well I wasn't on last month's show, no. So uh, I guess I don't think we ever did. We ever talk about Mindhunter? I don't know if you ever talked about that. Uh, I watched it. Yes. It was yeah. fucking excellent. I think you did. I, talk I about think it. I, did we talk? Yeah, about we talked it? about okay. how fucking amazing sure. the guy who plays Manson is. Okay, He's yeah, fucking yeah. phenomenal so, as ever. We did talk. Okay, so fuck all that. We know Mindhunter is fucking good. Fuck it. It's fucking great. Uh, I've been watching Creep Show on Shudder, which is fucking. Tell great. me about Creep Show because I saw it. And I was like, "Oh, this is a match." I love it. I didn't, see, I, I didn't see it, but I saw like the 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 uh, promotion. I had I, like, oh, uh, I had my trepidation about Urr. it. Yeah, I know. Urr. Big fucking words. Is it like different? Is it like Big different stories words. or remakes of those stories from the the movie? No, it has nothing to do with the movie except for the format, the kind of look, feel, and stories and. You know, they use some illusions and they use some like throwbacks to the movies and things like that. If you really one of the so. m- one of the m- one of the movies that I've seen mm. that has traumatized me, by the way, isn't that the movie with the girl on the dock and they're trying oh. to outrun the oh, that's uh, in part two with the raft with the you know, that the big blob fuck yep. me up for a very long time. Um, <laughs> and I'll probably end up doing a video about this because next Thursday, Halloween, 
will be like the final episode of this season. And it's hmm. broken in, broken up into two stories every episode. So it's about 20 minutes each episode. There's been a few ups and downs. Some of the episodes were like fucking um, didn't like it all that much. But there were a few, there was one episode that fucking almost made me cry. I didn't think I was going to fucking oh, feel wow. that way. I was like, that's fucking great. And it was really, really good. Uh, reminds me a lot of Tales from the Dark Side, the movie, too. Because uh, oh. John Harrison does a lot of shit in it too, and he's the one who directed Tales from the Dark Side. The movie. You, you know, you know when the writers are doing good when you're bringing out emotions like that. Yeah. So I was. Remember when I was Black shocked. Mirror did that? Remember when Black Mirror? Was oh, I do that? remember when Black yeah. Mirror was. Remember good. when Black Mirror was good? Remember when Black Mirror? Yeah, had remember, balls? That? remember that. <laughs> I remember when I refused yeah, to Charlie watch that Booker. show, and then I finally oh. watched it. I was addicted like a. It's funny you said that. Not. I just remembered I watched the particular movie of a show recently. Oh yeah, okay. It's, it has something to do with a oh, car. Oh yeah, I, I saw that too. Like a, 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 yeah. a car that somebody's uh, driving. Car has nothing to do with the movie. A car, yeah. yeah. A car. <laughs> did you all see that? A car. Yeah. I did okay, we'll talk it. about that uh, later. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not TV. It's Netflix. That's why. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, Creep Show is fucking good. I recommend it to anybody who likes the fucking old school Creep Show because it's actually pretty damn good. Good Omens. Been watching that too. That's good omens. Is that the one with uh, Michael Sheen? Michael and, uh, Sheen and uh, David the, the Doctor, one of the Doctor or Mister David Tennant, uh, Purple Man. Purple Man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's on Amazon. Only six episodes. Pretty good. It's a good if you are fucking confused as fuck about uh, was it American Gods and want to mm. go for another Neil Gaiman idea that is a little is bit Ga- more American Gods still on the air. It's third uh, season. Third season. season will be coming out. So. Yeah, season two. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, just was yeah. passed. Yeah, so season three will be out. But if you want to watch something that's a little bit more approachable and you will be able to understand it better and not be like, what the fuck's going on? (laughs) Watch Good Omens because it's like, you know, I don't want to say heartfelt, like, you know, like, oh, it's, 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 oh, it makes you feel good and everything, you know, still deals with fucking Antichrist and everything. Got Nick Mm. Offerman in if you're into that. Oh, Um, there you go. So, yeah, so two, I never watch TV, but I've been watching some other shit. So, Creep Show is fucking good. I, I recommend it. There's a couple stinkers in there that will probably make you want to go, why the fuck am I watching it? But overall, pretty, pretty fucking good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I watched... Uh... What have you been watching, DJ? I know you always ask us what we're watching. What the fuck are you watching? Yeah, I don't care. I watch stuff that... I. <laughs> I watch stuff that you guys usually don't watch. Like, I mean, well, Mr. Robot's well, back is fucking amazing. Anymore, but I watch yeah. Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot's back is great, but it's, it's always great. You've heard me jerk my dick for that show all the time it's amazing that it's show one of the greatest show on it's television. Gonna uh i don't even have to get into it it's great just watch it if you haven't watched it before watch it again uh, i saw a couple shows that i just wanted to, just to see with my arms crossed say like, why are you making this show let me just watch this to see why so i watched treadstone uh which is based on the jason Bourne, and nobody's a bigger jason Bourne fan than me what's this one called uh, Red, so i watched treadstone, treadstone yeah just to see treadstone? what the, why does this show exist and uh, because the whole point of Jason Bourne was that I don't know if anybody remembers Jason Bourne, but of course. the whole point of it was that they're all assassins. But this one assassin has amnesia and he has these thing He doesn't know that he has all he's capable of all this stuff. It wasn't that they were all they all had amnesia. <laughs> no. <laughs> one guy had amnesia and the rest of them had to kill him because he was the best. Well, I mean, but the best well, couldn't well, remember. Maybe, that he was well, the, that was a the whole point. People had amnesia. But the show is like, we all have amnesia now. I was like, no, 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 no. But the show, I, that's what I, the commercial made it seem like. But it's it's a different, they're like, it's essentially Manchurian Candidate, the show. They're all like sleepers, sleeper agents or whatnot. Like you say, it, like like a Winter Soldier. Like you say a thing and then they start doing shit, start killing people or whatever. It's, it. the thing that makes me like the Bourne show and the movies and, and this the, the parts of the show that I did like. He says he kills people with a book. No, it's funny because mm-hmm. I love the Bourne action stuff, but that's not the stuff that I love about the Bourne movies. The stuff I love about the Bourne movies, we made a sketch about, which is essentially all these people in the room going, holy shit, it's Jason Bourne. We gotta <laughs> Jesus get this guy. Christ, when, it's Jason Bourne. Jesus Born. Christ. When they're all in a room and they're like, he's got a five-minute head start. That means he's fucking eight miles. Like, that <laughs> stuff is great. I always love that shit where they're like, they, the people are like, who the fuck is Jason Bourne? And they explain it to them like, this guy has a, if he if he's in the room, you're already dead. And da 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 You got to get the, the bureaucracy of it. It's awesome. In the movies, all those Jason Bourne movies, my favorite parts are always with Joan Allen talking to a guy, telling them, if you have, you, you telling me you didn't close the borders off? You're a fucking idiot. This fucking guy's, got, that shit is great. And the, the Treadstone show, they have, 
two scenes like that, and they felt exactly like the movies. But that stuff is good. Uh, Jesus Christ, Christ is Jason Bourne. <laughs> they do have a Jesus. They don't say Jason Bourne, but like Jesus Christ, this guy's. Oh, out. I love it. <laughs> it's so great. I love when uh, you say uh, that. <laughs> I I saw Stump Town, which is based on the comic book by Greg Rucka. It's starring. Uh, oh yeah, but it's got uh, Maria uh, Hill. Smolders. Yeah, uh, it's okay. It felt. It feels like it should. That's what it looks like. It looks okay. Yeah, it's like Rockford Files, but with a girl. Uh, and I saw Watchmen. Um, Watchmen. Watchmen. Yeah. Let's talk about Watchmen. Watchmen. Let's talk about Watchmen. Yes. Watchmen. Let's talk about Watchmen. that one episode. That one episode that had. I like Tim Blake Nelson. He was my favorite part of the show. Yeah. Um, he's great. That, that whole he's got scene that cool in the mask. Great mask. Lo- Looking Glass. I think is his Looking name. Glass. What's the name of that room? Yeah. The the cube. The, 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 the box. The box the, or the orb or the circle the, or whatever. Uh, that scene is the best part of the the show for sphere? me. Um, the sphere. Is it the sphere. Whatever. Sphere with Dennis. Oh, the sphere with, uh, with uh, Sharon Hoffman Stone and, uh, <laughs> and uh, Sam Sam Jackson and Queen Latifah. Sam Jackson and Sharon Stone. Yeah, small small role though, but yeah. Yeah, Barry Levinson, I think mm-hmm. you recognize that. Um, yeah, uh, I liked it. I, I liked it, but I'm worried. It, it, it's, remember, it's Damon Lindy also. Yes. You know, it's, a, it's the slowest that. burn that you're going to get. You're going to have to wait yeah, a long yes. time to get anything on this one. Or you're never going to have an ending. Yeah, that's it. Um, also, and, also, there is a, a, a big issue with the first episode because it was sold with a character, I thought, and they got rid of him. Oh yeah, quickly. yeah, they did, they did, they did an executive decision on somebody. Uh, well, <laughs> I, 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 I think it, I, I was trying to remind people, well, we talked to people about it who hadn't seen it, and I was like, well, they were talking to me about the movie, and I'm like, well, it, it, it looks like the movie, but it's not a sequel to the movie; it's a sequel to the book. Right, because there's a big it's difference. Clearly, a yeah, yeah, to the exactly. Book. <laughs> there's like, a yeah. big difference with yeah. uh, the octopus. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, they the they, they included it, yes. but I mean, like the movie it, in terms of production design and look and cinematography it's looks like the movie yeah. like dr manhattan looks like the doc- but it's definitely they took up the storyline that Zack snyder didn't want to use in the movie so it's more of a sequel to the book i think it's okay it didn't knock my socks off no it did the, not the, the, people are losing yeah. their shit because like this is a metaphor for the world today right i mean the the I, shut I, I was the laughing when, fuck up I, I laughed at the fact that a lot of people were like, why are they making uh, this thing about this alternate reality where black people? I was like, well, that actually happened. The Tulsa massacre is. Yeah, it's an actual thing that happened in history. People of the thought world. it was like fake. Yeah. <laughs> They're making it for the show. I was like, no. Nah, that, that I, thought, I, thought, I thought all these white people were woke, though. Never happened. No, not, not that woke. Uh, <laughs> they fell asleep, yeah, they uh, fell asleep uh, during that period of history class. I was watching well, that, you know, the problem uh, with that is it's not taught in history class. Well, right, that too. You know, well, there's too many black people involved. That's why. <laughs> I'm here for uh, white American yeah. history, not black American history. I, I'm, I'm assuming uh, Jenny Smart is playing. Yeah. Um, speaking of billions, uh, Malin Ackerman's. Old, yeah, old that's what. I, yeah, character. if you if you read, I think like some of the stuff on Instagram, not Instagram, but like Wikipedia, they kind of mm-hmm. sort of spoil it already with it being right. that she's the second spill. Silk Spectre. Uh, so where the fuck yeah. is Dan Dryberg? Because uh, the, the rumor was that uh, Don Johnson was him, but I guess that's uh, that ain't going to happen anymore. So. Yeah, and I think uh, I, I read somewhere where they said that Dan was um, in supplemental materials for the show, which could be fake or real or whatever. I said that he was arrested for uh, – he's in federal custody for not – Putting down because of the Keen Act, he kept being a superhero, yeah. and they arrested. They did the incredible mm-hmm. shit to him. Yeah, so he might not be in the show. But I don't know why they can't get this call of Patrick Wilson. Well, I guess it can't be Patrick Wilson, right? Well, he he, he might show up. Maybe they're just like really, really hiding it really well. How, this is thirty years after the the, the events of the. Is this book, thirty years? Right? Is this thirty years after the events? Uh, the seventies, right? Thirty. Yeah, years? This is I guess it'd be pretty close to that. Yeah, forty, thirty ish. So well, it's, it's like what I, during like post Vietnam. So right. Let's say seventy eight. I like that stuff. That little stuff where Vietnam is a state. I like that. Yeah. I like the uh, Redford. Uh, yeah, Red 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 Redforations. <laughs> Red whatever. The fuck what was the Nixon? That Bill? was funny. Uh, say again. What was the, was it, the was it Nixonville trailer park called Nixonville or something? I missed that. Or, there, or maybe so Redfordville little, there, or something like that. That's one cool thing about the show. There's a lot of little Easter eggs that I yeah, have to are. watch it again to yeah. pick up. Yeah, like the squid. I didn't know there was a picture of the squid in the classroom. I know there was one in the cube. Yeah. Like, looking glass. And then the, the the back of the truck had the eye. Yeah. The, the, There's the a lot of you... cool little things and nods to the book. Yeah, right. and, and it's going to be fun. I just, as we all know who's behind it, that's our worry. And I think the first episode, I think it started off really good. And I think as it 
there was a section where it kind of got um, a slow burn. You could you could see the slow burn, and then right. um, I never watched Leftovers, and I hear it's the God's gift to whatever. Leftovers I, I, I was did. very good, and it ended well. It did everything right. kind of well. So I don't know what the fuck he, he. But you also had a book. You had a book to go off of with the leftovers. You had right. you had source material to say. Well, he had an ending. He had an ending. <laughs> right. So we don't know. Yeah. You and go. this is now. And, this is without a net, so there is no ending. Yeah. But this is this is using the color awesome. palette. It's just going. Right. You know, you don't know where it can go, which right. is exciting but scary because of the person behind it. Again. Mm-hmm. I. I don't know. I think. And, and he was reluctant to do it apparently because I'm excited. Uh, I think I'm excited. I think it's, it's got good uh, potential. Right, right. I, I, I just, I, I was just, I think people want it to be the next Game of Thrones, and it's not that. It's not it's like. A, it's a different thing altogether. It's, the, the characters aren't as compelling as they are in Game of Thrones. I mean, I like Tim Blake Nelson, but I'm weird. I like Tim Blake yeah. Nelson. He's fucking. Yeah, but like what else? Yeah, it's like. But he's not like Arya Stark. There's nothing really fucking crazy yeah, going for, on with this guy. For me, huh? like this world. The alternate, you know, Nixon and all that, and the idea yeah. Yeah. of these superheroes and just the look and everything. Like to me, that gets me. That's that's what I like a lot. I'm not a big fantasy guy, mm-hmm. but the idea that uh, Nixon continued and you know Vietnam's estate and and this and that. That's pretty neat stuff. Right. Yeah. And I that's a good escape when it comes to to shows but on the other hand you, you still know, gotta ground it well i think you gotta ground it in some form of reality do you think they're gonna get billy crudup to uh reprise the role of dr manhattan sure what else been... the fuck's he doing yeah what else is billy crudup doing he's not doing he, any flash I mean, you can't movies. use you can't use patrick wilson because he, he he i mean he's gonna put pancake makeup on him but uh, dr manhattan doesn't age but, so you can use billy crudup could, like right now you could. but ozzy but, like you could always get a different character uh different uh actor and yeah, yeah i just i uh, i guess well unless, uh, unless <laughs> I gonna it works yeah well unless they yeah. unless they make unless they make jeremy irons but you know it'd be cool it'd be, i think he is yeah, i mean that's what that's I what think, the that's what the speculation oh 100 he, he, but here's another easter egg that's not really easter egg it's kind of like a television easter egg do you know who the plays that butler that handed him the horseshoe no on the clock. You know who that guy is? Watch. That is Ichabod Crane from Sleepy Hollow TV show. Oh, really? Not, that's the first time I've ever seen him without a beard. I, I watched. I was watching uh, Fat Man on Batman, and they were like, "Yeah, that's the fucking guy from Sleepy Hollow." I was like, "What?" That leads me. Ooh, not, hey, that leads me back to Len Wiseman, who was also a big part of the Sleepy Hollow TV he show. Was, uh, it's all come back around. Ha, you, you, ha, can, ha, you can bring all ha. those actors back in flashbacks and whatnot, and I think that would be pretty that's cool. True. You could do. You could do a connection to the movie, but not necessarily yeah. have to be. A you have like forty movie. years of material you can connect it with. Yeah, right. You got Patrick Wilson still under the ten. He was just in Aquaman, so he's there. Yeah, yeah he's there. Uh, <laughs> Malin Ackerman. I'm not sure she's not really doing anything other than Billions, I guess. And uh, uh, and she's not I even really on the show of, anymore. So. Right. So I barely even fucking. I haven't seen her in anything. She else. got divorced, <laughs> and that she's. She. I think she was That's only it. in like one episode this last season, but it was good. Right. 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 No, well, it it was it was good, not great. No, I'll yeah, say it was good. It was better than a Netflix movie. Oh, uh, so you didn't like El Camino, huh? No, I I like <laughs> portions of it. I of course love the standoff. Yeah, um, standoff is great. Yeah, that was, uh, that was and, and a couple little things, but I I think it's four. I think it's like four great scenes just yes. put into a movie. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's yeah. yeah, but that's four different the, set pieces. The problem is you're taking a show that's a few episodes long. This. You know, I, I, I think he's one of the better writers um, yeah, uh, ever, uh, really. And the fact that he's confined or usually he has room to mm-hmm. tell the story and to share the characters. When you're confined somebody like that, I think it's very difficult to get certain things across. Yeah. And, that's and what... you end in the same pl- – the thing I don't like about it is that you ended in the same place yeah. that the – the character ended in the show. I almost feel like he's on the run in yeah. a car. <laughs> it's literally the same thing. Yeah. You didn't gain anything see, other than, but it opens up know. more questions as it well. Does. I, and I think the problem, uh, well, the way it ended originally, I I enjoyed the way it ended. Right. It was kind of open ended. Mm-hmm. You weren't mm-hmm. sure. Really, you could fill in the blank. You didn't more. know. You didn't know if these characters were dead. Yeah. You know, one appeared to be dead. There's no way he could survive that. But at the same time, 
he wasn't completely dead on screen and another guy's you know what he went through got away did he get away we don't i mean that's what's yeah cool. you know cool about you know my pet peeve about that whole movie don't, uh you know you know how i am about titles don't call the movie el camino the, the title of that movie should have been called last frontier because that's written on the license plate for alaska at the end El Camino has literally nothing to do with this movie. It just, ha- it just happened to be the car he was driving away in. <laughs> it, it has, and, he, he drops it off in the first yeah, and it's gone. Scene of the movie. <laughs> you know, and, and here, my thing. I mean, it's brought up in the yeah. flashback. In the flashback, but yeah. it's barely even part of that. It's like it's not even about that car. It's about his relationship with fucking uh, uh, Kristen Dunst's fucking husband, Plemons. Right. It doesn't yeah. really. It could have been any car. It didn't. Which I really thought was going to get relevant. I, I thought the car was like he kept trying. I, I thought, I thought they were setting up where he he kept trying to give it away and he couldn't. That's what I thought they were gonna do. But then his friend takes it, uh, Skinny Pete it's, or whatever, yeah. and it's gone. It's like, oh okay. Why the hell are we calling El Camino? Call it Last Frontier. That then you'd be like, what the fuck does yeah, Last 100%. Frontier mean? And then you see the license plate at the very shot. Like, oh, now I know what fucking hey, Last Frontier comes from. Yeah, comes there back you around go. Again. Yeah, this, I don't know. It felt like it was pick. written on a on a weekend. Just well, to me, it, it's kind of like a really weird case of like fan fiction. Right. Yeah. It's like, hey, it's let, like hey, let, whatever yeah. happened to Jesse at the end of Breaking Bad? I'm gonna have Pete from Orlando write a fucking script for me and give it to me, and I'm gonna tune it up a little bit, and it's gonna be what his interpretation is of what happened to Jesse after the events of the Breaking Bad series finale. Mm-hmm. Wait, and it, it's not saying it's bad. It's just kind of like it's fan, it's, it's fan fiction. It's, it's fan fiction. It's an un- it's very unnecessary and it's very, very it's very well done. I never asked needed. for this. I, I never didn't asked. Need it and it was very, but it was very good. Is but that like, I read the I read the reviews and everyone said it was a masterpiece and I watched I, it. I, well, and, that's like everybody who likes what? Breaking Bad. Nobody who likes Breaking Bad is going to say this thing is bad. I like Breaking Bad and I said it was bad. I know, but you're you're a fucking dick. <laughs> Breaking Bad is one of the greatest things ever to grace the ever show, made, yeah. Uh, the TV and um, this to me. Was the most pointless hour and a half I wasted. It's a little self masturbatory. It was two hours actually. I want him to do something else. Yeah. I, don't, I want him to get out of these. I want because I I want him to do. I want him to do another X Files movie. Yeah, you, know you know how I always you know how I always say, hey, if I ever wanted to pick anybody to do another, this is me being greedy and a nerd. Uh, a new do another Star nerd. Trek movie. I say Aaron Sorkin, nerd. but if I can't get Aaron Sorkin. The next right. um, on my imagine list him writing him. that and yeah, Tarantino directing. Oh fuck! I just pulled my. Is dick your out. fucking dick hard? <laughs> Holy fuck! Can you imagine a Quentin Tarantino, Vince Gilligan, Gillen, oh, Gilligan, Gillen? Yeah, I Gilligan. The, the writers' room of that fucking situation. I would just want to be in the room just to hear what them fucking kicking shit around mm. because they both probably know Star Trek in the back of their hand. Yeah, Vince started on fucking X Files for Christ's sake. Oh yes. So, so yeah, him. If I can't get Aaron Sorkin to do Star Trek, I would, which he probably will never do. But if I, I, I would get him. I want him to get out away from this because he's he's way better than this, and this is great. This is what he's and always going to be he, known for, though. It's untapped potential. He can do so much other shit. This is like Justin said. He probably wrote this on a weekend. Yeah, he wrote this in a weekend. Yeah. This is probably even though we don't think it's the greatest thing ever, it's better than ninety percent of the shit you're watching in the fucking oh, theater. Exactly. <laughs> so so yeah. It, yeah. was, it, it, was it was fine. It was fine. Whatever the fucking other movie, uh, it was, Maleficent yeah. uh, Two, and all the other bullshit. Yeah, it was that number uh, number one at the box office two year, two weeks in a row. Fucking Maleficent. Uh, let's take a break and then we'll play a game. <laughs> in a world where podcasts already seem to address every imaginable subject, one man broke new ground with a seemingly random obsession about exploding helicopters in movies. He was a podcaster on the edge, a maverick broadcaster who played by his own rules. Now, he has a last chance to talk about the strange way helicopters explode in film. Exploding Helicopter, available on iTunes and Podomatic now. Think you know about Chopper Fireballs? Think again. What are you supposed to be, a lion tamer? What are you supposed to be, a clown or something? What are you supposed to be, a disappointment? What are you Time for a game that'll keep you guessing. You or keep you angry. It's what are you supposed to be? What the f- are you even supposed to be? What are you supposed to be? This is the game where I de- describe to Matt and Justin things I might be wearing or have on, and the two have to buzz in to guess who I am. First, the three correct guesses wins. 
Now Matt's buzzer sound will be the sound of a nerd taunting girls about zombies eating her. They're coming to get you, Barbara. And Justin's Ooh. buzzer is a sound Justin of a Justin eating a girl. Justin it's eating Justin. a zombie girl. <laughs> Justin's buzzer will be the sound of a voodoo-infused doll dropping a rhyming catchphrase. Don't fuck with the Chuck. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Whoa. <laughs> yes. First three wins. Uh, Who are could you that be? Who are you supposed Who to be? Who could that be? First one. A glorious beard. A glorious beard. Now, are these Halloween like influenced? They might have a theme. Oh. Mm. A <laughs> glorious beard. A theme. It's a theme. Second clue a bottle of Jim Beam. <laughs> a glorious beard a and bottle. a bottle of Jim Beam. That kind of rhymes too. A glorious beard, yeah. a job bottle of Jim Beam. Huh. Oh, I, yeah, I know. They're coming to get you, Barbara. What is it? Um, was a uh, Whistler and Blade. Incorrect. <laughs> oh, no, really? <laughs> not right, I guess, no. he, I guess he doesn't drink Jim Beam in that movie. I feel like What's hammered that, shit. Jim no, not him. I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess it was JD, maybe. I don't know. No, no. Uh, a helicopter license, a glorious beard, <laughs> and a bottle of Jim Beam. A helicopter license. Glorious beard, a bottle of Jim Beam, a helicopter license, and a flamethrower. Oh, I know this oh, oh Justin gets fuck this with thing. The Chuck. Does Matt know it? No, well, I don't. I think I know I, it. I think I know now. Well, then guess, motherfucker. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah. Do you want yeah. the actor or the character? The character. Uh, RJ. Mc McReady. Yeah, there you go. Correct. Kurt Russell in the <laughs> thing. Kurt Russell in the thing. In the thing. <laughs> RJ McCain. Gorgeous beard. Gorgeous. Yeah, that have, fucking yeah. beard is magnificent. Yeah. Still alive. Yeah. Still alive. Still alive. Diabetes, because you drank too much JD. 80 something years old. I'm, guys, I'm better too now. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. Guys, I'm better. Better now. Let me out of the fucking room. Let me out of the room. <laughs> Come on, guys. Guys, for real. I Give don't fuck fucking believe this. <laughs> get the. Did he say get, No, he's like. No, he's he like, goes. You gotta be fucking, fucking kidding, kidding me! <laughs> and then they use that. The fu- thing is a, They use that same fucking thing- line in the goddamn stupid it chapter two movie too. I did. Yeah, I did see that. Uh, the, the I think the thing is up there with one of the most perfect films of all time. I agree. It's up there. Perfect movie. Pretty damn good. Perfect. They remade it. Nothing it was wrong. better. The remake's better. Oh, are you out of your mind? All right, here the we go. So Matt, uh, Fuck off. You're trailing one zero. Here we go. <laughs> I think we're going to sit here for a minute. He's a fucking crazy person. All right, here you go. First clue. All right. A, gl- a glorious beard. <laughs> Another one? Oh. So the Another theme is a one. beard. A glorious beard. This is a little bit harder here. Oh, really? Yeah. Anytime I see a, a glorious, glorious beard, beard. I hard. A doctorate. A doctorate and a glorious beard. <laughs> well, they said, okay, so there's a theme, but what kind of theme? I guess it's a beard theme. Maybe, maybe not. A glorious Back beard, a doctorate. To get you, Barbara. And, oh, you're guessing already? Yeah, why not? Fuck it. I don't fucking care. Who is it? Robin Williams in Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have a doctorate? Both of these guesses have been amazingly wrong. <laughs> I, thought were, I thought they were on the money. <laughs> Whistler? No. Well, you know, you know that was a pretty Kurt good Russell fucking guess, be, you asshole. Kurt Russell could be Whistler's son. Yeah, I can see that. The Whistler's son. <laughs> No, it is not. Uh, who the fuck did you just say? Uh, no, it's not know. Robin Williams. Son of a bitch stole my <laughs> Google line. Hunting. Uh, it's a glorious beard. A, a, a doctor. Did, did Robin Williams have a doctorate in Goodwill Hunting? I think, I think so. He he was teaching at Harvard. He's a teacher. He's a or MIT. Uh, 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 a, a scarred face, a glorious beard, and a doctorate. A scarred face. A scarred face, a glorious beard, and a doctorate. Justin is fucking hard at work. He's yeah, mind, he's mind right fucking now. this question yeah, I, right now. <laughs> he's mind fucking it hard. Uh, a glorious beard, a scarred face, a doctorate, <sighs> and a revolver. Oh, fuck you. Well, I think I know. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Uh, Sam Loomis. That is correct. Uh, Sam Loomis. Uh, one to one. He didn't one really have a right. glory. He had more like a goatee yeah. look going for him. It wasn't that glorious. It's a beard. Get the fuck uh, out of here. It's a beard. He's a beard, okay? <laughs> Grizzly Adams. He, he didn't really have much. He, he kind of has. He has some. He has some. 
fucking hair on his face. The picture I saw, this scarred Loomis, has, he had a fucking beard. So Maybe the theme is one. horror films. Yeah. Men with beard and horror films. <laughs> Maybe not. Or maybe, maybe so. a bearded maybe. lady. It could be. All right, here we go. A deep voice. This is a horrible clue. A deep voice. A deep beard. <laughs> a deep beard. <laughs> deep voice. A deep voice beard. This this character has no beard. There's your there's a second clue. No beard. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Buffalo Bill. No. Oh. <laughs> Save I'm trying to give you help. I don't, well, I don't need your goddamn clue. help or your charity. <laughs> Second clue: a deep a voice big old and a fat tricycle. Lady. <laughs> tricycle? Yes, a tricycle. Don't fuck with the Chuck. Yeah. Jigsaw? Correct. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even get Who's to the other like ones. Who's more like gravelly? Oh, what a player game! Oh, what a player game! Uh, at, at next clue is carry Elway's leg. Huh? <laughs> Remember, parents always play games with your sons. Yes, always. There you go. <laughs> so it's two to one. Big old fat Justin, lady. If you get this one, next one right, you win. Matt, you can tie it up right. Oh, what do I win? Okay. You win Bragging nothing. Race. Always nothing with you. Freshly paroled paperwork. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Freshly paroled. Yep. Mm. Tattoos and freshly paroled paperwork. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Uh, Max Caddy. Yeah, Katie, correct. Wow, Matt has tied up the game two to two. <laughs> the next one right <laughs> wins. I didn't get to. Uh, I got. I had a director who hates Marvel films. Hey, is one of the clues. <laughs> what are you gonna say? Like a guy who is in mo- movie theater tickets. I had cigar. I had Hawaiian. It just shirt. sucks because, had... like, when you said the the papers, I thought of that initially. <laughs> <laughs> when you think of a paroled guy, it's always that scene where he walks yeah. out of the jail right into the camera. <laughs> but then we talked about Cape of... Fear earlier, and I was like, I can't. Yeah, I did that. talk. We talked about Cape Fear off, 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 uh, off camera. Off... Off camera. Again, we're on right now. our, ca- our off show audio, off camera off is better than this. <laughs> well, actually, it was show. recorded, so technically we have Where all are that. we? We do have all that. Uh, <clears throat> Let's go into the vault. The next one wins. Are you ready? Oh, boy. For all the marbles. All, all the marbles. The marbles. I'll, t- I'll tell you something today, counselor. <laughs> that was more Robert Mitchum than fucking Robert pretty De Niro. Good, Robert. <laughs> that was more That was, that was, more, hey, that was more Mitchum hey. than, than Nero, That's more Mitchum than, that's yeah. more Mitchum than Robert. Nero's Nero. more like, Robert Nero's like <laughs> That's more like De Niro, right? You got to do a lot of breathing out of your uh, in your mouth, out your nose. Uh, yeah, counselor. Hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you something today, counselor. Tell you something, uh, <laughs> counselor. <laughs> Nick Nolte, hey, hey Nolte. <laughs> I'm not Nick Nolte. You can uh, ramrod me a little bit, huh? 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 Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, oh man, this is for all the all the all the uh, gumballs right here. <laughs> <laughs> I know the first thing you're gonna guess when I say this. Here we go. Oh boy! A yellow windbreaker jacket. Nah, that's too simple, right? <laughs> a yellow windbreaker jacket. Yellow windbreaker jackets. Huh. Yellow windbreaker jacket. We were talking about windbreakers earlier in the show. Hmm, off, off, uh, off the show. My camera. <laughs> Mike camera. Off, off my camera. Off, off the show camera. A bald head and a yellow windbreaker jacket. <laughs> bald head. A yellow windbreaker jacket, bald head, 23 toothbrushes. That's a pretty big clue out of this game. Yeah. <laughs> I, pretty big clue. Well, why don't I know? Why don't I know? And I, I, maybe I don't know. Justin probably knows. A yellow windbreaker jacket, ju- a bald head, I ju- 23 toothbrushes. Uh, uh, don't fuck with the Chuck. David? Uh, Dunn? Oh. <laughs> because yeah, like a green windbreaker jacket. Was it green? Right? Fuck. Yeah. I think it's twenty three. Uh, I don't know. Personality. Twenty three and me. I don't know. Well, right. I, I guess I kind of. I guess I know. If we're gonna use bald head. That, if we're gonna use that as a clue. They're coming mm-hmm. to get you, Barbara. I guess we're going to go. I don't fucking know his name in the guy in the goddamn <laughs> movie though. I mean, is that gonna take away from this? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 well, I'll you know, I'll, I'll use one of his personalities if that works. Go, that's fine. The Beast. Yeah, uh, correct. <laughs> Kevin is his name. Kevin, okay. From Split. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll just use The Beast. 
Yeah, so I was that, close. Is it, yeah, you were. You, were, you were in the you, fucking. Uh, you were there. You just the had the wrong bald the guy. The wheel guy. <laughs> you had the wrong Parker. bald guy. This has been. What are you supposed to be? A sentence I'm sure Johnny Depp's agent says to him every time they meet. So Matthew is the winner. <laughs> what do I win? You get to give everybody our information. Oh! <laughs> the worst prize of all time. Anything. That's it. <laughs> That's the end of Thelma Louise. And that was a crash landing. <laughs> it, it, another happy Halloween crash landing from the Simplistic Reviews podcast, courtesy of DJ Valentine, Justin Pelosi, and me, your favorite Jew, Ooh. Matt Stewart. Pregnant pods included for all you ladies out there. <laughs> What? Oh yeah! <laughs> Don't worry about that one right there. But if for you want to find gangster, out more for porn. you gangster porn fans out there, I'm gonna break it down for y'all real quick. Where you can find mm-hmm. podcast, motherfucker. Guess what? Go to podcast.simplisticreviews.net. But guess what? You don't have to go there anymore, motherfucker, because we on WordPress now, bitch. But really? you could probably still go over to simplisticreviews.net and get rerouted to the new website. I, we haven't even told motherfuckers about the new website. It's so I, new. I was even fresh. Before. It's so <laughs> fucking dope that you'll be sorting it up your nose. That's how dope it is. Go to Twitter. Yeah, there's a new website. Boom. Right there. <laughs> With new cocaine website. all over it. Fucking new features. Everywhere. New features. New links. New sublinks. New this. New lat. If you Clean, go to public, you might be able to get a new public sub. Fast. If you go there. Be a be a subscriber. Guess what? E-commerce coming soon, where you can buy some shit from us. Finally, Ooh. yes, you like that. It's all true. This man, this man has, has no dick. No, <laughs> no dick. dick. <laughs> the most perfect joke in all of them. It's so fucking good. <laughs> Gets me every time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> yes. Feel free to check out the new website where you can get all your information needs of us. We will be adding more to it it was an adventure just getting it going to begin with my god did it break me my god but it's fucking just was in though. a sweatshop for two months he was this website up. <laughs> but we didn't lose anything which is good he made nike shoes in this Justin website Justin went undercover <laughs> in an indonesian sweatshop to build this website Yes. He's taller than everybody Travis in the Knight's entire son, country. And he's still Travis Knight's in. dad didn't even know he was there. Travis Knight's dad made Justin make shoes. The new in kids in the block guy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Jordan. That's Jordan. <laughs> Jordan Knight. Travis Knight makes Jordans. Yeah. Jordan Knight makes music. You, you and see the other guy, where's Jordans? <laughs> there you go. Or go to Facebook, go to Instagram, go to everywhere. Yeah. Go to all Fuck that. Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> you go out and get. Ha- oh, yeah. Fuck. Oh, yeah. You know what? I agree. Yeah. Fuck Facebook. Yeah, go fuck I'm Facebook. I'm just going to put that out there. Fuck Facebook. I want you guys to, so, hey, why don't you take a big step back and literally fuck, fuck your Facebook. own Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> so, for uh, Les or Lynn Wiseman uh, and Jordan Knight, I'm Pedro Aldemar saying fuck Facebook and fuck all the Marvel characters literally. Yeah. Have them fuck each other. Oh. Have, let, oh. Let's get to fucking. All right, let's oh. go. I want to see. I want to see Hawkeye. Fire, oh, I can't use that name. It's more like Hawkeye. I gotta use. Uh, <laughs> I want to see Scarlet Witch oh, and Vision do a little, little, little hanky panky. I want to see uh, Thanos do with the anal blood plug. Called Thanos. Paint. P- paint. There we go. Do it, Kevin Feige. Listen oh. to me. Listen to me. Get to fuck it. Yeah. Knock, <laughs> knock, go. knock. We're at your door, Who's Kevin there? Feige. We uh, want to see tits and more, okay? Yeah. Let's go. Deadpool is just the tip of the iceberg, yeah. okay? J- just a tip, just to see how it feels. Let's go. Yeah, feels good. <laughs> feels good. Trust me. Thanks for listening to this spooky and cookie episode of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. If you want to do something really scary this Hollow's Eve, here are a few suggestions. Watch Gone Girl on a first date. Get your hopes up for Star Wars. Let Tom Rothman run your studio. Defend the final season of Game of Thrones. Tell someone to put their phone away in a theater. Eat KFC. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com.
Just thinking about any one of those things gives me the fucking malaise.